Thanks for joining me for another Airbrush Asylum video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I mix up my transparent black tones. So the ones that you most commonly see me using in my videos. I've had a lot of questions from viewers wanting me to show them how to do this. So here it is, coming up right now. So I'm gonna show you how to mix up uh, three shades of the transparent black. So you're gonna start off with the lightest one, then do a medium one and a darker one. So using the transparent base, I'm gonna tip this whole 10 mil bottle into here so that it just makes it easier for you to follow along with on the video. So now that I've emptied the whole 10 mil into the bottle, I'm gonna come in with some Trident reducer and add the same amount of that. So just mix it at a one-to-one. -one. I'm just doing this by eye. This will give you a good basis to start with. And then using black, I'm going to add three drops of that. One, two, three. Now the reason I'm only doing three drops is because it's heavily pigmented. So it's going to be very, very strong. And you can see, so this is our first time, it's still reasonably dark. Okay, so to mix up the medium tone, I'm gonna to do the same, empty a whole bottle of 10 mil transparent base. And this time I'm gonna add six drops of black. One, two, three, four, five, six. And reducer as well. My mistake, I should have done this before adding the black, but it's okay. It's not really gonna make that much of a difference if you do it afterwards like this. Now give it a good shake. And now we have tone two. If we compare them, you can see that definitely a little bit darker, which is good. So with the final tone, we want it to be pretty much black. So you can go nice and strong. You can obviously adjust how intense you want these tones, but this will give you at least a bit of a breakdown. So again, just emptying that whole 10 mil in there. And my advice, if you're just starting out with the airbrush and you haven't got a lot of control yet, then you can mix up, say, instead of two or three of these tones, you might want to do uh, five of these tones. So have a couple of extra mid-tones, just so that you can get used to the tone as it gets darker. Okay, and again, one-to-one -one with the reducer. I'll link up to another video discussing how I reduce uh, my normal paint. So this is a little bit different, this one. I'm going to put 12 drops in. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and we'll see how dark this one is. It may need to go a bit darker, but we'll see. That's pretty good, it's pretty dark. Before I darken this off anymore, what I'm gonna do is spray them out. So here's the three tones, and you can see on the right it's our lightest one, then the mid and the darker. Go ahead and spray out the first tone. So this is how the lighter one sprays. So I'm gonna build it up to full capacity and then up nice and close. You can see I can get a nice transparent line. Let's go ahead and just build up a bit of a heavier tone in this area here. Just flat tone it a bit. So that's the beauty of the transparent black. You can go as heavy as you like, but it's not gonna get any darker than that. Okay, now spraying tone two. Same deal, I'll go as heavy as I can. You'll notice it is darker. It's not a great deal darker, but definitely a good step up from the previous tone. If you prefer to have more of a jump, then just add a bit more black. And I'll just dust out this section so you can see the comparison. And coming in with the dark tone. So again, I'll coat to its full capacity, which is probably about there. So I would actually suggest to go darker with that one. So instead of 12 drops, you could probably try 20. Just to get a bit more contrast.
Okay, so there's our three tones. Now, personally, I think the first one's a perfect mix. That's a very, very good mix for your first light tone. This one and the darker one can be a bit darker. So for the purpose of the video, I'm gonna go ahead now and darken off these two. So this one with the six drops, I'm gonna move that up a little bit and make that nine drops. So I originally had six, I've just added three. This one here from 12 drops, I'm gonna add another eight to make it 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we'll see how dark that is. It might even need more. So that's not too bad, but I still think I can go a bit darker with the darkest tone because I almost want it black. So we're up to 20 drops now. We originally did the 12, then we've added eight. I'm gonna add another five. One, two, three, four, five. That brings us up to 25 drops now and that should hopefully be considerably darker. I'll spray these out so that you can see. Yeah, I think that'll be all right. So let's go with that. Okay, so the new mid-tone. I'll just go halfway so you can see. I'll go over these as well. Let's go half over this. So you can see already a bit of a difference. And now the stronger dark tone. Yeah, that one's better now. And if this is the first time watching one of our videos, then welcome for all of our regular viewers, welcome back. I do hope that you're enjoying this video so far. If you are, give it a thumbs up, share it out, and let's build this airbrushing community together. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing, tap on that bell icon, and that'll notify you every time I put out new content. Cut over that a couple more times. As it's just another look at the completed tones. So you can definitely see the contrast now, and I think going darker with these two has definitely made a difference. You can adjust it as needed, but hopefully this video has helped to give you some sort of indication and a way to better understand how to mix up transparent black. To continue your learning, be sure to check out some of the other videos and playlists that I've got listed here. And until next time, go grab your airbrush, do some amazing artwork yourself, and I'll see you again very, very soon in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.